as you can see it's pretty busy here around Partick Hill Station but we've got design construction work to be done so let's get back to the drawing board Well, hello and welcome back to Party Hill Station. I'm Charlie. Uh, this is just a short follow-up on my next uh, tenement build. And when I last spoke with you, I had started a process of drilling the holes uh, to cut out the windows. Now, this is two millimetre thick thick plastic card and it's tough going um, however I've managed to drill the corners of all of the windows on this front view of the tenement um, you know where I go from here is I have to continue drilling so that I can then chip out uh, the opening, uh, maybe with a chisel or a square edged knife, you know, something that will be make it easier uh, to cut rather than score and score and score all the way around the perimeter. Now, I reached out to uh, the people of Partick where I spent the first 11 years of my life uh, to help me out with some dimensions. And what I was interested in, in particular, was the size of the sandstone blocks that were used on the tenement buildings. Now, the one that I grew up in was probably constructed in the late very late 1800s, early 1900s and it was down near the river and those houses were built to accommodate the masses who were going to be working in the shipyards and the engine works etc and for the most part they're all gone but there are some, there are still lots of tenement buildings but they are of a more recent uh, circa, probably, you know, the 1920s and, and onwards. Anyway, um, I got a response from, now, excuse me if my pronunciation is off a little bit here, Mikhail Vinarek, Vinarek. Vinarek, I think that's how you might pronounce it, and he's either in Switzerland or the Czech Republic. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, he was uh, kind enough to do his own little bit of research for me and went into Google Earth, uh, which I should have done myself, but... I thought some friends that I still have in Partick would have helped me out with this. Anyway, uh, he got back to me with a couple of dimensions. And you can see, hopefully, I'll just adjust this. And Mikhail told me that the blocks were 14 inches high. Now that's 355.6 millimetres. And I'd guess that the might have been 18, but, uh, well, I'll, these are more accurate figures. And he went on to say that, you know, there were about, four, he measured 45 and a half inches in length. But between the windows uh, in here, uh, they were 52 inches long. 
Now that may be um, across the sill of the window, just to check that. But what I have done is I've marked out what 14 inches or 355.6 millimetres looks like. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in with the dimensions I've got for the windows. So that's very reassuring and, and that will help me uh, move forward with the design. So what I will do is I'll mark in all of these and probably take a shortcut by saying, well, you know, there'll be 14 inches there, 14 inches down, and that way I can get them in quicker. Um, one thing that I use is uh, to cut this is this W-shaped or M-shaped, whatever way you turn it, uh, ruler. Because what it means is I can put it down, hold it and score with the blade, thus protecting me from chopping my fingers off. So safety is paramount when you do this kind of stuff. Now, I've got a couple of things going with the build and that is, as it is going to be a low profile, there is a one end, a gable end as it would be called. And you know, I've got these two and plus uh, I'll show you what else I've got. These are the gable ends here. As you can see, they line up perfectly. And this one is made from Fomex. Yeah, Fomex. And it's a softer material, easier to cut, lighter than the plastic card. So... As I said, I have one project going with the Fomex and one project going with a plastic card. So these are going in parallel. And, you know, I'm not sure what the schedule is on this project, but uh, I can assure you and Boomer uh, uh, will attest to this. The drilling of these holes is uh, is pretty demanding. Uh, I, I might try and uh, get that jig that I can use uh, with my Dremel that might help to automate the drilling. Um, because it's very tedious trying to do these uh, all these holes. Anyway, um, the next step in the meantime is to put these blocks in. And, you know, fortunately, all they have to do on this side. Now, if I do a low profile one, yeah, I'll only be doing it on the one side. If I do a, a complete build, it will be the front and the back. Um, the gable ends, of course, they have no windows, but they do have the chimney flues that would need to be added on down here. And that's a another task. Anyway, I, I thought you would just enjoy getting an update on the tenement builds and give you something to look forward to. Um... In, in terms of what's coming up and you know if you'd like to help out in any way I'd appreciate it uh, the other project that I'd like to get started on is the old Wilbur store on Dumbarton Road close to the old Partick Hill station um, I still need information for that 
uh, because the the frontage the windows are recess, recessed uh, from the front and uh, I've got to get a better understanding of the dimensions of that area. Uh, when I go into Google Earth, it's not clear because what I see on Google Earth is that the shutters are down. So I can't pick dimensions of uh, the window framing. Anyway, that's something for another day. In the meantime, uh, thanks for dropping by here at Partick Hill Station. I really appreciate it. And I hope it's caught your interest. Uh, maybe you grew up in one of these tenements. Uh, maybe you know me from Partick. And if you do, please, dro please drop me a note and say hi. Um, and we'll see you next time uh, here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.